education is one of the most important things, and it takes time to educate someone. So let's take an example of physical therapist. We tend to educate our patients a lot, and the philosophy behind this in our training is that if you explain to a patient why they hurt, how they injure themselves, you could prevent future injuries, and it makes sense. Once you get the mechanism of how you are hurting yourself, uh, let's suppose I have a, um, a basketball player, young basketball player, continually sprains their ankles. Now, if I just fix the problem every time they come to see me, they'll more likely be coming to see me for a lifetime. But if I explain to them how they're injuring themselves, there's a chance that I have created a patient who's not only self-aware of what's going on, but a patient who's capable of preventing the injuries from happening. If a physician was to explain exactly the mechanics of how the pancreas works and how everything that a patient is doing ends up creating this sequela of events that leads to this disease called diabetes, there's a high likelihood that this patient, without really spending a lot of time medicating them or giving them prescriptions, they could change their lifestyle. They could change how they look at life. They could change their eating habits, their exercise habits, because they can see how food relates to this thing called diabetes. So we've established that education is really important. So let's come back to why I am talking about this. The problem in medicine nowadays and today is that healthcare providers, whether it be doctors, physical therapists, pick a, pick a profession, do not have time to do one of the most important things, which is educate their patients. So before a doctor goes and reaches for a prescription pad, they really should reach for a whiteboard. They should draw on the board, show the patient how they got to be where they are, and then come up with ideas on how to prevent the same situation from happening over and over again. Sometimes the most insignificant thing is the most significant thing in healthcare. And I take transportation, for example. A patient who can't go to the grocery store because they don't have transportation doesn't have the ability to go and get all the fresh fruits and vegetables that you're recommending they eat. So you solve the transportation problem, you solve the health issues. But how would you ever know if you're only spending 5.2 minutes with them? The only way to know is increasing the amount of time you spend with your patients so that your patients can get better. So America can get better and can get healthier as long as America figures out how to increase the amount of time that they spend with the healthcare providers. And we come up with tools like we have with Rotano that actually increase the amount of time that patients spend with their doctors. All right, folks. That's enough for the day. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you so much.